In this video, I'll demonstrate how to install and configure extended forms in Google Forms. To start this, I have to open Google Forms and create a form or quiz. Here as you can see I have already created a quiz. But before that, we will first go through the process of installing the extended forms add-on. So there are three ways that can be opted to install the add-on. The first way requires navigating to the Google Workspace Marketplace website. Search for extended forms, open it, and click on the install button to install. The next step is to visit the extended forms website, and you'll see the install app button. Click on it, and it will lead you directly to the extended forms installation page in Google Marketplace. The last way is through Google Forms. In Google Forms, click on the three dots, and then on Get Add-ons. Google Marketplace website page will appear. Search for extended forms, click on install, provide access to your Google account, and install the add-on. Once installation is complete, refresh the Google Forms page, and you'll see a puzzle-shaped icon here at the top bar. Click on it then choose Extended Forms, then click on Configure. Extended Forms settings box will appear at the bottom corner. Toggle the button to connect the add-on. Once you've connected you'll see the Extended Forms field automatically added to the forms. Aside from that, you might see an error message in the settings box. Click on the Fix Settings button to remove it. Moving forward, here are some settings to configure. First you will see the Share Form option that populates with sharing form via link. Email required, blank, anonymously. Link with organization email required, and invite only. By clicking the share icon, I can directly share the form from here. Below that, we have a time limit option available that allows me to add a timer to forms. You can add a time limit up to your recording. I have kept it to four minutes, or disable it if not required. Then there is the restrict attempts option that is enabled, which allows me to limit the number of responses. Furthermore, you can see the Enabled Auto Submit Toggle button that will automatically end the quiz once the timer ends. Then, click on Save button that will save my configured settings. At the bottom, there are three options. Let's click on the Responses one, and it will directly take me to the Extended Forms dashboard. You can see all the other add-on functionalities here. Here, you'll find all the responses to the Mathematics Quiz form. At the top corner you'll see the account of the user. Aside from that, you can see all the settings here. The first one is toggle accept response. If you disable it, the form will stop taking responses, but here I have enabled the toggle button to take responses. Besides that is the invitation settings that open a dialog box in which similar to me you can add email IDs of the respondents you want to send test invites to. You can also add can add invitation message or just directly send the invitation. Now you will the preview option by clicking on it. A welcome message screen appears and I click on get started to see how the timer quiz looks. Moving forward, the next option is the share form link. Copy the link and paste it into the new tab to open. It will ask you to sign in for quick confirmation and then you'll receive a personal link to the form. You can continue with Facebook, Google, or LinkedIn as well. Now, I have clicked on the three dot icon that opens up more settings to configure. Like Google Classroom, it allows you to add classwork, in this case mathematics quiz, to your selected classroom from the dashboard. Then we have the form settings option, which is an expanded version of the extended form settings we saw in Google Forms, like as share form links, time limit, and auto submit. But it also has advanced assessment that includes negative marking. When enabled, you get another option to exclude empty answers from negative marks. Then, it has a hide back feature that allows users to restrict from going back in the multi-section form. Furthermore, as you can see features such as restrict attempts, allow the right click or copy and paste option, and hide email it from the form. Next tab has proctor settings, from where we can enable tracking settings like full screen, tab switch, and camera snapshot. Lastly, it has form theme settings that allow users to change potential form theme colors. Once I update it, form settings will be saved successfully. Then there is the Teams section from where you can create a team, as you can see some of the created teams here. We can customize the team by configuring the team profile and team brand. We can invite team members and change roles or remove team members through the team member settings option. Moving forward, Extended Forms has a brand section to configure for personal branding apart from team branding. 
I can add the brand logo and I can include the brand URL and support email address. Also customize the brand theme for all forms under my personal account. Then to see how the form looks after changes, you can preview it like me. Go to the forms, then click on the preview button and start your form. That's how my form looks after all the changes I have made. And that's it. This is how you can install and configure the extended forms. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any queries, please leave them in the comment section.